Uh, this person wanted to know when in the green car process is the employee safe um, if the company lays off or fires them or will they have to start over for the whole process? This is a very typical question. Yeah, yeah. And it's a good question. It really also depends a lot on the particular green car process too, right? Because, you know, you have to distinguish employer-sponsored processes from self-petition processes, right? Like if you have a national interest waiver that's self-petitioned, um, as long as you are remaining in the field, right, as long as you're doing uh, work that is of national importance and substantial merit, you know, you are still okay. Um, and, um, you know, you are, you are still okay to keep that process moving. I see it most commonly, I would say, in the perm process where these questions come up, right? And um, I will say there are different benchmarks, right, in terms of what safety looks like. So the filing of the perm gets you your place in the green card line. OK, after the perm gets certified and your I-140 petition gets filed and it gets approved, that locks in that place in line. OK, so that doesn't mean the whole green card moves, but it means your place in line, which is very important when you have these long backlogs. That place in line has not been disrupted when you move to another you know, employer. Um, I will say that, you know, there can be issues sometimes if an I-140 petition is revoked, um, it, it can cause an issue if it's. I think it's within the first 180 days um, of it having been approved. Um, and we could talk more about that, but that is only if an employer were to withdraw an I-140, uh, which doesn't happen very often. You know, honestly, um, I think of it as solely punitive. I, I can't think of any good reason why anyone would withdraw an I-140. And I, I certainly don't advise anybody that I work with to do something like that. And I think it I think it's pretty rarely done. The other thing I'll mention to you all is that um, the very final stage, right? So you have PERM, you have I-140 petition. The final one is the I-485 adjustment of status application. And once that gets filed, after it's been pending for 180 days, if it hasn't yet been approved, somebody can also move not just the priority date, but the green card process itself to uh, another job in the same or similar occupation. So it can be with a different employer as long as it's in the same or you know same or similar occupation, like a software developer who has a, you know that type of job and moves to another software developer position or something related, something similar, right? And that's a way to carry the green card with you to another employer. And finally, you know, what does it mean if a person is laid off? They get that green card, right? And they get laid off right away, you know, because you're supposed to work for that perm, that 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 employment, right? Upon receiving the green card. Well, about that is that these types of things happen right and it doesn't mean that you haven't had the best of intentions to you know work um you know for that for that employer so i think it's really a changed circumstances and it's something where it might come up later in a naturalization interview you're trying to get citizenship and it looks like you left right after the green card was approved and you might get questions about that but if you were terminated it wasn't your fault it wasn't led by you it was something it was circumstances beyond your control